But y'all forgot, but y'all thought I forgot about reading from Job today, and I almost did, but I didn't. I was even getting ready for bed when I remembered. See, I got my hat off. That means I was getting ready for bed. So here we go, your daily reading from the book of Job until we finish Job, and then it won't be a daily reading from Job anymore. I know where it will be, though. Something I've been wanting to share with y'all for a long time. I shared it with you last year because I read the whole Bible to you last year. But I didn't give much commentary. I didn't elaborate much because I was just reading through the Bible with you in 2023. This time I'm going to give a little commentary and elaborate a little bit as we go through it. But we're not there yet. We're still in Job. We're, we resume this evening in chapter 33. And we still got a long way to go. Wherefore, Job, I pray thee, hear my speeches and hearken to all my words. Behold, now I have opened my mouth, my tongue hath spoken in my mouth, my words shall be of the uprightness of my heart, and my lips shall utter knowledge clearly. <clears throat> the Spirit of God hath made me, and the breath of the Almighty hath given me life. If thou canst hear me, set thy words in order before me. Stand up. Behold, I am coming to thy wish in God's stead. I also am formed out of the clay. Behold, my terror shall not make thee afraid, neither shall my hand be heavy upon you. Surely thou hast spoken in mine hearing, and I have heard the voice of thy words saying, I am clean without transgression, I am innocent, neither is there iniquity in me. Behold, he findeth occasions against me, he counteth for me his enemy. He putteth my feet in the stocks. He marketh all my paths. Behold, in this thou art not just. I will answer thee that God is greater than man. Why dost thou strive against him? For he giveth not account of any of his matters. For God speaketh once, yea, twice, yet, perceive, yet man perceiveth it not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when the deep sleep falleth upon men, and slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men, and selleth their instruction that he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man. He keepeth back his soul from the pit and his life from perishing by the sword. He is chastened also with pain upon his bed and the multitude of his bones with strong pain. Sounds like me. <laughs> so that his life abhorreth bread and his soul dainty meat. His flesh is consumed away that it cannot be seen and his bones that were not and his bones that were not seen stick out. Yea, his soul draweth near 
unto the grave, and his life to the destroyers. <coughs> if there be a messenger with him, an interpreter, one among a thousand, to show unto man his uprighteousness, his uprightness. Then he is gracious unto him, and saith, Deliver him from going down to the pit. I have found a ransom. His flesh shall be fresher than a child's. He shall return to the days of his youth. He shall pray unto God, and he will be favorable unto him, and he shall see his face with joy, for he will render unto man his righteousness. He looketh upon men, and if any say, I have sinned, and perverted that which was right, and it profited, it profited me not, he will deliver his soul from going into the pit, and his life shall see the light. Lo, all these things worketh God oftentimes with man to bring back his soul from the pit to be enlightened with the light of the living. Mark well, O Job, hearken unto me, hold thy peace, and I will speak. If thou hast anything to say, answer me, speak, for I desire to justify thee. If not, hearken unto me, hold thy peace, and I shall teach thee wisdom. Chapter 34 Furthermore, Elihu answered and said, Hear my words, O ye wise men, and give ear unto me, ye that have knowledge. For the ear trieth words as the mouth tasteth meat. Let us choose to us judgment. Let us know among ourselves what is good. Should I lie against my right? My wound is incurable with transgressions. What man is like Job, who drinketh up scorning like water, which goeth in company with the workers of iniquity, and walketh with wicked men? For he has said, It is profit it profiteth a man nothing that he should delight himself with God. Therefore hearken unto me, ye men of understanding, for be it from God that he should do wickedness, and from the Almighty that he should commit iniquity. <coughs> for the work of man shall he render unto him, and cause every man to find according to his ways. Yea, surely God will not do wickedly, neither will the Almighty pervert judgment. Who hath given him a charge over the earth? Or who hath disposed the whole world? If he set his heart upon man, if he gather unto himself his spirit and his breath, all flesh shall perish together, and man shall turn again unto dust. If now thou hast understanding, hear this. Hearken to the voice of my words. Shall even he that hateth right govern? And wilt thou condemn him that is most just? Is it fit to say to a king, Thou art wicked? And to princes, ye are ungodly? How much less to him that accepteth not the persons of princes, nor regardeth the rich more than the poor? For they are all are the work of his hands. In a moment shall they die, and the people be troubled at midnight, and pass away, and the mighty shall be taken away without a hand. 
for his eyes are upon the ways of man, and he seeth all his goings. There is no darkness, nor shadow of death, where the workers of iniquity may hide themselves, for he will not lay upon man more than right that he should enter into judgment with God. He shall break in pieces mighty men with number, without number, and set others in their stead. Therefore he knoweth their works, and he overturneth them in the night, so that they are destroyed. He striketh them as wicked men in the open sight of others, because they turned back from him and would not consider any of his ways, so that they cause the cry of the poor to come unto him, and he heareth the cry of the afflicted. When he giveth quietness, who then can make trouble? And when he hideth his face, who then can behold him? Whether it be done against a nation or against a man only, that the hypocrite reign not, lest the people be ensnared. Surely it is meet to be said unto God, I have borne chastisement, I will not offend any more. That which I see not teach thou me. If I have done iniquity, I will do no more. Should it be according to thy mind, he will recompense it, whether thou refuse or whether thou choose, and not I. Therefore, speak what thou knowest. Let men of understanding tell me, and let a wise man hearken unto me. Job has spoken without knowledge, and his words were without wisdom. My desire is that Job may be tried unto the end because of his answers for wicked men. For he addeth rebellion unto his sin. He, clapped, he clappeth his hands among us and multiplieth his words against God. Y'all. If I was Job, I'd have run those guys off a long time ago. With friends like that, you do not need enemies. Job's a lot more patient than I am. That hat I had on today must have been dirty on the inside, and I didn't see it. So I keep seeing stuff on my head that shouldn't be there. I'm done, y'all. <laughs> I'll stop rambling. God bless you, my friends.